I'm the corporate planning director at Gens. So how many of how many of you know about Gens or been to that Gens store? Oh, thank you. We have we got three, four. <laughs> so I want to talk a little bit about our company. So Gens is a Japanese company, and we have 1,200 styles, and we are the company make glasses within 30 minutes with the robot Kana, so you can actually watch that glass be made. We have a store in uh, San Francisco on the Powell Street, across the street from the H&M. And we also are a company who makes that buying glass experience as simple as possible. So everything's included, even the frame price from $60 to $120, including lenses, high index upgrade if you need one, and coatings. And we also, the company, invented the Gen screen, which protects your eyes from harmful blue light emitted by the digital devices, such as smartphone, computer. So we actually brought a bunch of samples today, so please check it out when you're going out. So today, before I get started, I'd like to introduce a Japanese frame to you guys. So it's called Hito no Furi Mite, Waga Furi Naose. So, translation of this is by watching others, why it's plain avoid mistakes. So today I'm gonna talk about my mistakes. So first one, the first four people we hired left after the training in Japan. <laughs> so what happened was, it's always been done in Japan. We hire the new grad and hoping that the person is gonna become like marketing manager or store manager or like customer service specialist, you know, trying to like do the training. But what happened was, out of four, all of them left. <laughs> so, lesson learned from that is the right people, right position, and the right timing. So, we hire the person, not necessarily filling out the job description at that moment, but has the potential to fill in with a good heart. That's really important. So let's go to the second one, mistake number two. The construction of the flagship store was a mess. So you've seen that first slide. It's a beautiful store. If you come into San Francisco, please check it out. But it was, we didn't meet the schedule. We didn't meet the budget. It was a complete mess. So what we did was, so I'm going to use that metaphor to explain what happened. So I was like, we were like, we like to get the train super fast. They got the wheels and black and shiny and signed it. That was a big mistake. The lesson learned from here is that know exactly what you want. I'm sure that you can relate it to the software development, the product development. You gotta lay out all the specs first before you sign, and knowing the when you have leverage. If you're locked into that the person or contractor or factory, you're done. You gotta lay out everything, and while you have the power to negotiate, that's what you have to do. So third one. Mistake number three, we thought we had to blow a lot of money to get into the U.S. market. So this is actually a funny story. So we've been talking to, we have been talking to that big agency in the U.S. Are we going to like, you know, take over the Union Square and have all the big posters? We even had a conversation about, like, we're going to use like Anne Hathaway, maybe like wearing that, you know, the glasses, like different glasses every single day, and she's going to meet that different guy, and she's going to have to date. You know, that kind of show movie is going to be great. Why we didn't do that, right? <laughs> so, what we learn from here is that doing the right thing is really, really essential. So, word of mouth is stronger than ever because of services like Yelp. So, every day we have new customers coming in just because of word of mouth, not because of they see the ad on Union Square. So, last one. We assumed that we could carry over our business model. So in Japan, we had we have eye exam, like glasses and everything all together. So this is what it looks like in Japan. We have a multiple lines. We have part-time workers doing eye exam. It's not like that in the U.S. <laughs> we had a lot of time to figure out how it works, but we learned the startup can really help overcome challenges. So we've been closely collaborating with 2020 now, which does a teleoptometry. So we're going to have uh, them operate in our store in this November. So it's going to be the first in California. 
So here's my talk, and thank you so much for listening. And we have a Jin screen demo, and if you have time, please check us out. So any questions? I have two questions. Um, I think some of the two like technical components of this that might be interesting to the audience, um, but actually maybe they're not questions, things you can elaborate on. Um, the first one is, can you um, talk a little bit more about um, your the machine in your office, Kana? And then second, um, the thing that's new to me is um, the teleoptometry. I've never heard of that. I'd love to learn more about that. Right, so I think I, I need to get back to the slide. because it's, it's a beautiful one. Uh, let me go back. So this is a state-of-art robot, we like to call it a robot, Kana, which makes the 63 glasses per an hour. So we designed this, that lane, so that our staff don't have to move from behind the counter. So it's really cool because it's in a glass container. So when you order our glasses within the 30 minutes, and you can see that your glass is being made. So intention is that is we really want to showcase how transparent that our process is because like gla buying glass experience always like cumbersome experience and people wait for two weeks for nothing. So after so we hear from the, our customers after seeing all this process, I just don't know why like why why I waited for two weeks for nothing. So <laughs> this is really like what we want to showcase. It's a transparency and speed. And another thing about um, 2020 now teleoptometry. So they are a startup company from New York. So <coughs> optometrist Sally is six figure. So when, that's why the eye exam is very, very expensive. So that's why like, we, we actually do the eye exam for free in Japan, but we could not do that because of that. So we ch were trying to find out that resolution to it, and we found this company. And it's great because a doctor can be sitting in his house, sitting on the couch, and all the technicians can do the old exam with that state-of-art machine, and doctor can review it and sign off. So doctor can see the multiple patient, it can be very efficient way, and for that eyewear company like us, it's very, it, it, we don't have to have optometrists on site. We can have our the data staff doing the eye exam, so it's gonna be a lot cheaper to provide that, uh, the services to them. So it's gonna be first in California, so we're very excited to bring them on board in California. So is your product more uh, carry more of a premium price tag as opposed to uh, other competing products? Or are you, uh, is it more of a premium product or is it more of a general mass market product? Thank you. I think I kind of rushed into the beginning part. So we are selling eyewear from $60 to $120, including lenses and coatings. And most mm -hmm. even that if you have a stronger prescription, it's included as well. So I always explain, I like to explain like this way. So if you flip that frame, it has a price from $60 $120, that's a price you pay for, nothing else. So no like upcharge or anything. So inclusive. answering that inclusive, answering the question that we are a very affordable market, but our product is very, very high quality. Sir? Yeah, but can I bring my own frame if I like something from the market? So unfortunately, uh, we don't usually do that because we're not sure like if we break your frame, we don't have any placement. So, but our frames are from $60 to $120. So just to get your lens replacement, it's probably more expensive than our frame and lens price, all inclusive. Can you tell me a little bit about the robot that makes the glasses? Do you have kind of a, a set of frames and a set of lenses and these fit into these? Yeah, so it's really high tech. So what we're gonna do is we create a job. So we, well, with that job, under the job, we put the prescription and the frame code. And we set into the, on a tray. So tray has a job number. So it feed into the machine. So we have four machines to cut the lenses. So each of them has like, okay, I'll take this one, and I'll take this one. So it actually goes up and down and if it's done, it goes up. Uh, so it's really, a, it, it, we have a server to control that all the machines. And it's not that it's something that we create, but it's, it's we're the first one to actually showcasing. This is more for like a lab type job, but I think 
nowadays all in retail. Um, I'd like to talk a little bit about retail, but it's really about just not buying it. It's more about experience. So what we like to bring to here in the retail is the experience to see the West be made. Be surprised that like I won't have to buy it anymore. So that's that's <laughs> something I really like to do.